We play a little game of If You Only Knew. Okay. Who is your childhood celebrity crush? Um, I think his name is Henry Thomas. I think Ooh. that's his name. He played Elliot in E.T. That was your celebrity crush. I mean... <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure? I don't know if it's guilty. Um, I just like to make out with my dog. <laughs> It's a terrier mix. Okay. <laughs> a question, Larry. Should I follow up? Sure. You make out with your dog. Yeah. Is your husband jealous? No. It's just... Is your dog a male dog? It is, but, you know... What is his name? Jeff. Do you dream of Jeff? Um, no. I just... What kind of dog is he? He's a terrier mix. He's, um, he's got a lot of issues. He's a rescue. I, I feel about him I, I, the way I imagine people feel about their kids. I just, I love him. I just want to eat him. <laughs> Secret talent. You're watching your career go down the tube. Secret well, talent. Well, this was fun. Uh, my secret talent is um, I can imitate a lot. Um, I can imitate pretty much anybody. Imitate? Yeah. Give me one imitation. No. Okay. Who would you trade places with for a day? Um, I would trade places with for a day. <laughs> I didn't. I wish I had time to really think about this. No, I'm, that's not the, the thing point. I'm about to just say is, is what the, something I've never thought before in my life. What I was about to say, Meghan Markle. What? Why? Why? I don't know. Okay. I just want to see. I want the. I just want to like. What's a luxury you can't live without? <sighs> a luxury I can't live without. A uh, running water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Best compliment you ever got? You know, I mean, I think anytime anybody casts me in anything, it feels like the best compliment. Strangest job you ever had? Uh, oh, I used to, um, I had this job in New York where, um, one of three jobs I had, but it, I had to um, pick up an artist, drive them to like a mental uh, institution. Um, and set up their equipment, and then they would perform at the mental institution, and then I would count the amount of people who were there and uh, collapse all their uh, uh, equipment, like their amp and their mic and their everything, pack it up into a car and drive out into the boroughs and drop them out. Who were you working for? It was an organization called Hospital Audiences Incorporated. And, really? And then I got promoted and I got to pick the artists who would perform. And that was terrible because people would call me and say, I sent you my tape of my music and, I, and it wasn't a, you know, right for what we were doing or we already had somebody like that. And I had to reject somebody for the first time in my life. I had to reject an artist. That was horrible. To work in a mental institution. To work, to like play for 45 minutes. For What's something you wish you were better at? Um, everything. Uh, I wish I was better. I wish I could sing. I have, I'm very musical, but I don't have a pretty voice. I wish I had, I wish I could sing. Funniest fan encounter. Um, well, usually this is the way a fan encounter goes. How do I know you? And I say, oh, <laughs> well, I'm on television. And then they say, no. <laughs> no, no. They say no. <laughs> I love that. I had a guy come up to me in the street, and he goes, uh, well, I know you. Don't tell me I know you. <laughs> Don't tell me. Okay, I'm Larry King. No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I get this one a lot, too. Doesn't she remind you of, 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 of you know, Greg's ex-girlfriend? She was crazy. <laughs> Something you long believed to be true and realized isn't. Uh, that adults knew everything. That, that the country was run by adults or that, you know, I mean, I think we're in this funny time right now where when I talk about, where I just realized, wait, I thought, you, I thought adults had this handled. And all of a sudden you realize, oh, we're the adults. We have to get it handled. Presidents were smarter than everybody. Yeah. You know, you believed that. Yeah, you believed that. So, uh, tell me something people don't know about Michaela Watkins. <laughs> um, they don't know that, um, really? 
Um, no, you don't have to answer. <laughs> this is not a courtroom. Um, they don't know that my second toe is infinitely longer than my first toe. Infinite. Yes. Like I could pick up a grapefruit without bending over. Please don't show my toes. <laughs> Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.